What's up YouTube one way up here back with another car review slash walk around and in this video I'm going to be doing it on the 2020 Dodge Durango RT so right off the bat looking at the Dodge Durango RT it definitely does have some sporty physical characteristics that make it look a little bit more beefier than other seven seater SUVs so from looking at it um, I do like what they did with the hood and I also love one of the most common things that Dodge do with their rear tail lights I like the strip the bar that runs across the back of the car and it just flows smoothly as you can see and you got that RT badge right there in the back with the dual exhaust, which is another great plus that the GT and the RT models offer for the Dodge Durango. You get some nice rims that matches well with this color. Now, one thing I did notice about the 2020, or I'm not sure if they did this with the 19 models, is that you do get a Hemi badge on the side. I know in the past there was no Hemi badge or 5.7 badge, but yeah, it's definitely like a sporty bumper. You can see it's designed, the little inserts on the side where the fog lights would be. Now I notice with the grill, it's blacked out with a mesh design instead of having the cross like the normal Dodge Durango would have. And another great thing. They put the Hellcat hood on this with the actual functional vents. These vents actually do open and go into the engine compartment, which is cool. Okay, so now I'm going to step inside the Dodge Durango RT. You get turn signals in the mirrors. Also a nice plus. Now looking inside the Durango, uh, one of the best things I love about Dodge is their suede and leather seats that they have in their vehicles. This is definitely a nice comfortable material for their seats and it's definitely comfortable to sit in. So now, sitting inside the Dodge Durango. Now this design has been around for a good amount of time now, but overall it's definitely a solid vehicle. The design is fine it's comfortable it's easy everything's laid out perfectly well i do like i can't get over just seating and then how the suede in the middle and the leather on the outside it really goes well together all right so i'm gonna start the car up and then show you guys the engine but before i show you the engine let me just give you a quick sound of the exhaust Okay, so back in the RT. Um, well, as far as the exhaust, the car isn't really that loud, which is good. This does not have the active exhaust like the RT Challengers and Chargers. So 
I think it goes in well with the characteristics of this car. It's not meant to be loud and brash like the other Mopars. So let me just pop the hood for you guys real quick. Get a look at that engine. I love this hood. Definitely can't argue with the way it looks at all. So here we go. The same 5.7 liter Hemi V8, which is found in the RT Challenger, Charger. They even have it in the Jeep, Grand Cherokee, Summit, Dodge Ram. Definitely a great engine overall. Now, this engine, when it's configured for the Durango, is powered at 360 horsepower instead of 375 in the Challenger and Charger or 400 in the Dodge Ram 1500 but 360 is still a good amount of power for a car of this size and it puts out about 390 foot pounds of torque and 0 to 60 about 7 seconds I believe or a little bit less than that so not crazy fast but it's definitely a cool engine to have for a car of this size and the Hemi is definitely this 5.7 Hemi is Dodge most noticeable or one of their most reliable V8s because it's been around for a while all right so back in the RT Looking at the steering wheel, you get the same steering wheel you see in pretty much all Dodge products. Now, one cool thing about the steering wheel, you do get paddle shifters in the GT RT models. I'm sure they have it in the SRT as well. Now, one great thing I love about the Durango and the Jeep Grand Cherokee is their center of display for the speedometer and RPM meters and fuel gauges. It just looks clean, it's clear, it's big, and it's just real easy to cycle through the options that you have here. Definitely a cool setup. Okay. So the materials are solid overall. It's not a luxury car, but it doesn't feel too cheap. It doesn't feel like terrible. So it's a good, overall quality for the price tag of this vehicle and looking at the center get your usb ports 12 volt power outlet same shifter you see in the charger challenger get the manual mode which is cool now one thing about dodge is that instead of having the upshift when you push it forward it actually lowers it if you want to go into a higher gear you have to push it down which is a little bit different than most manufacturers but that's how they do it and this Durango is equipped with all-wheel drive which is nice so the power gets put down evenly you don't have to worry about skidding out while having a V8 under the hood center console you do get two levels which is cool you get the first level which is right here. and then if you hold the second latch it opens up the bigger compartment in the center console decent cup holders you do get an eco mode which i don't know if it'll do much of a difference but this isn't really meant to be an economy vehicle but they put it in here just for you to have do have sport mode of course but overall, it's, I do like how they laid out the center screen, which is pretty nice. Push button start, of course. Yeah, overall, it's a solid car to be in. Got like speakers and that part of the door. So now I'm gonna step into the second row. This is a seven seater, so guys a look at that gas tank but overall you do get the nice amount of space like I said I love the way the chairs feel to the touch when you sit in it 
Oh, that's cool. I never noticed this. You do get heated seats in the second row in this configuration. You can control if you want it coming through the feet or up top. That's cool. You do get a full power outlet, which is nice. Two USB ports. I do notice you... I did see this in another Durango. You do have the option to get screens in the back here, which is nice. Now the lighting does look pretty nice. I do like how the overall finish of it. The, I do like how there's a little strip going across, which is nice. Your rear climate controls. You do get a coat hanger. Then it's a quick look at the third row. Overall, it looks like you get a pretty decent amount of space which is not bad and you do get lights for the third row which is cool do get a little bit of netting back here yeah i'm 6'3 i'm sitting in the second row of the dodge durango I have no issues with space at all definitely comfortable it's doing its job it's meant to be a big suv i do like this design that they have here that's going across the door it's not carbon fiber but it's meant to look like carbon fiber but it is a nice design okay so stepping back out so now opening the trunk Let's see it's automatic do it with the key now trunk space is not good when the third row was up but when you fold it down when you don't have people sitting in the back you definitely do get a lot of space I mean just focus down let's give you guys a look at that So with the seats being folded down, you do get a lot more space, which is good. I mean, you do want to have a good amount of cargo space for a car of this size. And let's see what you get back here. A little storage right there. 12 volt power outlet for the rear occupants if their seats are up. And that's pretty much it. So, close this. So overall, this Dodge Durango is definitely a solid SUV. I mean, you can't really get too many V8 SUVs out there. Most of them would be like a BMW or a Mercedes and they will cost a lot more. So overall, this is a decently priced SUV. You get a nice V8, it's not over the top powerful. It feels very smooth to drive. It's very controlled. So pretty much anyone can drive this, which is a great thing about Dodge. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.